Good morning, dogs. It's finally Friday, and I can't wait till this weekend. We got going on, Lee. Going on, Kylie. I'm actually, for this week, I'm pretty much working 9 to 5. I heard you took your two weeks notice. That's big news. Yeah. Well, I got work on Sunday, but tomorrow I'm heading to Martinsville to watch Team State Wrestling. So it'll be fun to get catch up, see some friends, and watch good wrestling. Yeah, now, to the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We made it through the first week of this new semester, and now it's time to get the fun stuff. Big broadcast auditions are just around the corner. Wednesday, January 19th, right after school in the theater. All acts should be performance ready. If you need any help or have any questions, please go see Mikey Taylor. I can't wait to try out with my guy Kyle Lee doing a skit I saw on YouTube and skip wrestling state finals. Now we're gonna send it to Nelson and Edwin. But first, everybody hold up. Are, are you ready to hear this announcement? Yeah. Nelson has a special announcement about Trek. Roll it, Alan. What's up, dogs? Another reminder, there will be a call-out meeting for the boys and girls track and field team Monday, January 10th in Case Arena during community at 7.35. Anyone interested in doing track this spring must attend to get important team information. Check in with community teachers for attendance before coming down to the meeting. And please bring a pen or pencil. The girls tennis team will have a call-out meeting on Thursday, January 13th during community time in Case Arena. Any girl interested in playing tennis in the spring should attend. The swim team traveled to Crawfordsville last night to face Danville and Crawfordsville. The hot dog swimmers had a great meet versus the Warriors and the Athenians with multiple people dropping times. Good job to them. We'll be back in action next Thursday to compete in conference. The girls basketball team will be here at home later tonight facing the Lebanon Tigers. The game will begin at 6 p.m. with the JV tip-off and a varsity follow. Another reminder, the boys basketball game against the Tigers has been rescheduled for Monday the 10th. The game will begin at 6 p.m. with the JV tip-off and a varsity follow. Last but not least, definitely more important than swim. The wrestling team will be having their senior night Tuesday of next week facing the Western Panthers. The meet will begin at 6 p.m. That's all for sports. Have a good day. Thank you, Nelson. It's currently zero degrees outside. The high for today is 17 degrees with a low of 12 degrees with winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's all for the weather, now back to your host. Thank you. For lunch today, lines one, two will be serving pole bar pizza, and three and four is gonna be grilled chicken sandwich. Also, uh, seniors, just a reminder, YMCA is hiring. If you're 18 and good with kids, or just want a job in early childhood education, then this is a job for you. Nice. Yeah. That's all for the announcement today. But wait, are you, are you ready to hear this announcement? Yeah. Pedro, are you ready? What? Everybody needs to hear this announcement. There will be a co-op meme for the boys track and field team Monday, January 10th. I will repeat. There will be a track and field co-op meme Monday, January 10th in Case Arena during community at 735. It's during community at 735. Anyone interested in doing track this spring must attend to get important team information. Are you, okay? Yes. You still with me? Okay. Checking with the community teachers for attendance before coming down to the meeting. And please bring a pen or pencil. You need to bring paper as well. I know I will be there. Are you going to be there? I don't know, honestly. Okay, well, we're going. Make sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button for more notifications. And you know what they say, right? Hmm. Never forget your roots. Born and raised in Oregon. I'm, I've only been there once, but I was born and raised. Peace.